Hi, welcome to our tutorial today at KDD 2020 on image and video understanding for recommendation and spam detection systems. My name is Anand Shankar. I'm a principal staff engineer in the Artificial Intelligence Organization at LinkedIn. Today, I will be joined in making this presentation by my colleagues, Aman Gupta, Sirjan Kafle, D. Wen, and Sumit Srivastav. We have also been helped in creating this presentation by our colleagues, Suhit Sinha, Nikita Gupta, Bharat Jain, Dylan Wang, and Liang Zhang. I will start this tutorial by giving an introduction to tell you how we're going to cover, what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial, what subjects we're gonna be covering, and in what order we will be doing that. And then I will hand it over to my colleagues to start the tutorial. I will come back later to present some sections of the tutorial, including a part on video representation and as well as a portion in speech recognition. So this tutorial is gonna be divided into three broad parts. First, the introduction, which is this part. And then we will go into image and video technology that is being researched in the community. And finally, we will, we will talk about how we use some of this image and video understanding technology for applications at LinkedIn. Because we are motivated by LinkedIn applications, we're going to motivate this talk by a few different video and image understanding tasks. The first is recommendation. So where in LinkedIn would a member see a video or image recommended to them? The first place is on the LinkedIn feed. You come into LinkedIn, immediately you're on your feed, you're presented with a lot of content. Some of this content could be images or video. The second is advertisements. Some of the content are sponsored ads, and these ads contain creatives that could contain images or videos. And finally, the third one is LinkedIn Learning videos. We have a product called LinkedIn Learning where we have courses on different subject matters and these courses are actually video courses, highly produced video courses. And we might, be, we might be able to recommend these videos as well in one's LinkedIn feed. Now, how do we actually determine which video or image to recommend to a member? In order to do this, we need to build an understanding of the member as well as an understanding of the image or the video that we're considering to show. And if the understanding of this image and video matches with that of the member, we might show this video to that member. So the way we build an understanding of the member is to do two things. We first process the member's profile. The member's profile contains a description of this member. What job does he or she hold? What is his or her title? And what is his or her professional history in terms of previous jobs? All this is represented as text in the member's profile and we use text processing and natural language processing to build an understanding of the member. As far as the member's watch history is concerned, the behavior is concerned, we are interested in the member's watch history. In other words, what videos and images did this member watch in the past? And based upon our understanding of these images and videos that the member has watched in the past, we can build an understanding of the sort of videos or uh, images that this member likes to watch. And in order to build that understanding, we will use image and video understanding technology to process the historically watched videos or images. The technology that we will use is the sort of technology we are going to cover in this tutorial today at KDD. Finally, we will use the same image and video processing technology that is used to process the members historically watched videos and images to process the target image or video that we are considering to show to this member. So we build an understanding of the image or video that we want to show to this member. We already have an understanding of the member through the profile and the member's watch history. And if these understandings match in some sense, we can retrieve and rank these videos or images for this member. The next comes search. So now in, in LinkedIn, you come into LinkedIn and you might type a search query in the search bar to further specify what you're actually looking for, as opposed to just feed where we're just showing you something, right? 
So in this example here, somebody has typed the query Satya video. And as a result, we are showing a video of Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. Now, videos and images might be warranted for several different types of queries. And the question becomes, how do we decide which video or image to show to a search query? The way we do this is similar to what we did for feed. We build an understanding of the member's profile through text processing, as we said before. But now, rather than processing the member's watch history, we consider the query that the member has typed. We take this raw query and expand it to other queries using query reformulation. The reason we do query expansion or reformulation is we want to get a larger volume of retrieved results that we can then rank for this member. The queries are also processed using natural language processing or text processing to build an understanding of the query. So now we have an understanding of the query. We have an understanding of the member through his profile, to his or her profile. And now we need to build an understanding of the video, which we can do, like we said in the previous slide, for, for using image and video understanding technology. But another additional thing we need to do is to be able to index these videos or images based upon keywords, because the query is text, and we will use keywords from the text to decide which are images or videos to retrieve in order to show to this member. But images and videos do not necessarily contain text. So what do we do? Some images may contain text as part of the image, and we can use technologies like optical character recognition to extract the text from the image. Another thing we can do is using speech recognition to extract text from the spoken content of the video. And we can index these videos or images using that text. Of course, a member also types in text when they upload an image or a video. And a member may type in some commentary when they upload a video or an image. And we can use that text as well to index the videos and images. Lastly, spam detection. We want to make sure that the images or the videos that we show to our members at LinkedIn are not spammy. We don't want them to be hateful. Uh, we don't want them to be uh, showing a lot of violence. We don't want double tap images like this. And we don't want images or videos that are there purely for commercial reasons. So in order to do this, we build a bunch of spam classifiers for the different types of spam or low quality that we're interested in. And if an image and video uh, uh, is considered to be spam by a spam classifier, we would take it down or take other sort of suitable action. And we will talk about the different types of spam classification approaches that we use at LinkedIn in this tutorial. So those are the motivating tasks that we have for image and video understanding. And now let me uh, talk about the two different uh, broad sections that we're go going to cover in this tutorial. The first is video and image, image and video understanding technology that has been developed in the community at large. And we will cover several state of the art technologies. We will talk about the different tasks that people try to solve in image and video understanding. For example, classification, segmentation, action recognition, and so forth. We will talk about ways in which people and researchers have come up with to represent images. Because if you want to classify an image, you need to convert the image to a fixed dimensional representation. That's called feature extraction. And similarly for videos, a video is a sequence of or frames of uh, which could be of variable length, and we need to be able to convert that into a fixed dimensional representation. We will talk about how this is done as well. We'll be talking about speech recognition to give you a broader understanding of how speech recognition technology works, because we use speech recognition to process the audio part of a video. And finally, we will talk about techniques like self-supervised and unsupervised learning to alleviate the case where we have only a small amount of supervised training data. From an application standpoint, we are going to be focused on search and recommendation and spam detection at LinkedIn. We will be talking about the features that we use for visual and from the visual and audio streams to do search and recommendation at LinkedIn as well as spam detection at LinkedIn. And we will also be touching upon the challenges we face from an infrastructure standpoint to build multimedia pipelines to enable our video and image processing and understanding technology at LinkedIn. I, we will now uh, continue with the rest of the tutorial. I'll hand it over to the next presenter.